Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Surround Day 951. And I'm here bringing you a little unpackaging video, a little, a little show and tell. I know it's been a while again, guys. Um, I just really haven't been collecting all that much. So all I've been really focusing on is building up my um, my Desert Camel Zaku army, and also I just haven't, I don't know, I just haven't really been, been in it to buy stuff. There really hasn't been anything in my interest other than Desert Camel Zaku's um, coming up on eBay for me. Uh, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not really buying anything t right now, to be honest. Like I said, I mean, it's, the collection's still the same. Um, I really haven't added anything new. Um, I'm just waiting on a custom from Joshua Gundamo. That should be done, like, maybe in, uh, in another month or so, maybe. Um, <clears throat> and plus, I really haven't been having too much extra money. I mean, I have. I, I kind of lie. I, I, I have, but I really just kind of try... I've been trying to save it up for other things. And I just spent, like... Uh, well, actually, I got my, my books for college pretty cheap. But I kind of spent, like, almost $150 on books. So that's kind of a little chunk of money. And then uh, my days at work have been cut to only two days. I mean, I work part-time to begin with. I just work to get some little money. So I kind of, you know, have gas in my car and just, you know... <clears throat> buy whatever I want and when I want to go out with my friends, you know, have some money to pay for myself But right now, you know two days nine dollars an hour working three to four hours isn't enough money to do all that so um, um, I'll be starting a new job probably in a week and a half or so and uh, I'll be working like part-time 20 hours But I'll be getting my full 20 hours instead of just working like seven to eight hours like how I've been lately <clears throat> I'm able to survive on that, sort of, like, what I want to do. Um, but, yeah, uh, going over all that, um, I actually came up on three Desert Camel Zakus. Right now, I have two out of the three with me. I'm waiting on one that I just got yesterday from a bid. Um, I got the Desert Camel Zakus all for under 30 bucks, under $30. So, this one right here, I think I got for 22 yeah, 20, is it 20? Yeah, 22 bucks. And the thing came super quick in the mail, so uh, let's get to opening this real quick. <clears throat> All right. Sorry if you couldn't see that. I don't really have a stand yet for my phone. I just put it on my leg. <clears throat> so, nice condensed shipping. I'm surprised, well, I'm not surprised it fit in there. It, Shipping only cost them like two bucks. Yeah, I paid twenty two for this specific one. The condition, to be honest, all the condition of them, all the ones I bought, they look to be in like damn good condition. Especially this one I got from Billboard Prints, which I bought from a while back. But that's uh after this one. So let me show you this one. So take a look at him. You can see it looks very nice. The antenna's a little bent, but we all know that boiling hot water can fix that in a super quick instant. So let me just open the bag real quick. Here it is. So take a look at a little business card. Give them some little business. So I bought it from this person on eBay. I guess her name's Cat's Eye. Um, they were very uh, cool to work with the price. Um, I mean, they're I think they were selling it for like twenty something or thirty. And I'm like, hey, you know, if you could bring down the price to twenty two, you know, I'll, I'll buy it. And like a couple hours later, like, oh yeah, I'll bring it down. And like. Sometimes when I do the bring down price, I'm like, you know, I could do PayPal straight so, you know, they don't have to go through the eBay fees. Because, you know, eBay fees could take up a lot of your your money. Not your money, but your profit when you're selling, especially when you're selling little small items like these for like 20 bucks, you know. But, um, let me get this focus on. So here it is. Very nice condition. I really like how it looks. Um, ooh. What? So... As you guys know, I've been army building my Desert Camel Zakus, and I I've, I've have all of them. I'm missing two, four, and six, and I just got four right now, so now I'm only missing two and six, and actually, um, I'll show you that right now, but let's look at the accessories it came with. So it's 100% complete. It came with its uh, Desert, uh, or Desert Camel Zaku Bazooka, the Graphite Black Bazooka. 
I mean, this thing's like in brand new condition, basically. You can see the machine gun, the the sights is perfect. Like this, it's either been taken out of the box like just recently, or it's just been really taken care of really well. You can see how straight that heat hawk is. That thing has not been bent at all. And here's the Magella Top Tank Cannon in perfect condition. I mean, this thing is in beautiful, immaculate condition. I couldn't have asked for more. Just give me a second and put the flash on because uh, it's not really working with my hand shadow. Alright, guys, so I'm back. So let's take a look at this guy. So you can see he's in pretty damn good condition. There's hardly any scuffs. Usually, when these guys have been played with or been on display for a while, maybe just, just you know, been due to age. Usually this danger sign right here on the feet has been kind of scratched off, kind of missing, not all there. And I mean, this thing is in damn good condition. Sometimes the Zaku boosters on the back, these little boosters tend to fall off. So be careful with that, guys, especially if you put on display because sometimes um, they just, they're just, they just, you know, built like that. It's molded where they, the, the boosters weren't molded well, so they just fall out. They don't stand well. Um, but yeah. Another test is to check this out. Let's see the legs. So it seems like the leg joints sometimes, if you guys you guys know what I'm talking about, you get some uh, some loose saku or sometimes even brand new. You know, it just depends on the mold how it was done. And the legs are just done like they they're horrible. They're they're just falling off and it's it's no fun having those. So this one has some damn good joints too. I mean, everything's tip top shape. No joints falling off. It's it's in beautiful condition other than this little bent top here. But like I said, nothing a little bit of boiling hot water. Turn that thing to a little spaghetti noodle and make it straight and cool it. And plus that this thing's an 04, which I've been needing. Because like I said, guys, I have all the, the uh, numbers. I'm just missing 02 and 06 now. I was missing the, the odds, but yeah. Yes, yeah, so my bad guys. So yeah, that's um, that's this one, twenty two bucks. Got another one, just missing two and six now. Can't wait to get those. Oh, two and six loose basically. I might have six brand new in box somewhere, but I'm not too sure. So let me just put this guy to the side. And also today in the mail, um, like I was talking about, I got two out of three of my Desert Camel Zakus. This was the second one I got. Um, you guys might know already. I'm not a big fan of brand new unbox figures. I, I really like having my uh, figures loose because uh, I mean it's a cool collection piece to have them when they're brand new unbox, you know. And, um, so basically, I got this from Billboard Prints. Um, it's been on eBay for like a couple months now. No one's bought it because the price has been like around 40 bucks. And a lot of these guys' brand new unbox are going for around. Well, they're not going, but. People are trying to sell them for like fifty dollars and up, and it's like you know it's too expensive. No one's gonna want to pay fifty dollars for these guys, even though they're really rare. Um, not really rare, but they're they're more rare. They're one of the more um, rare variants. They they come up, but they're pricey. And um, they Billboard brought it down to like twenty eight, I think, and it was like eight dollars shipping. And I kind of just threw a price at Billboard, saying, hey, you know. Would you take 20 for it? They're like, yeah, I'll take 20, not including the $8 shipping. So I'm like, all right. So we worked out a deal, did straight PayPal, so no um, no PayPal fee to, or um, eBay fee toward billboard. And uh, got it for 28 bucks, shipping included, brand new in box. Let me just say, this thing's in damn good condition, too. It's immaculate. Um, you can see sometimes the plastic starts coming off from the cardboard or the card here. And it's still on there pretty nicely. Um, there's a bit of yellowing, just a bit, I would say. Um, let's see here. Maybe not. Maybe that's just my eyes. I can't tell if there's like a little bit yellow tint or not. Let's see here. Now, I think I think that's just my eyes from from the yellow that the light's giving off from its, you know, its its body. Yeah, I mean this thing is damn in damn good condition. You can see how straight the uh, the card is. Pretty, it's it's a little you know zigzag there, but um, I mean this thing for being 20 plus years, going on 20 plus years, easy 10 plus years. I take it back, like 10 plus years then. Um, it's in really good condition. The box, um, it's just really nice. Like I said, picked it up for 28, which I think is a deal. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why. I'm just one of those guys. 
one of the collectors that just love the desert camel zakus the, the desert camel or the desert variants of the Xeon figures um, or, or even the Federation but uh, I don't know I just love their color scheme it's really nice and the weapons are in the graphite black which look really cool just overall one of my favorite figures to collect especially if you ever get if you ever get a hold of your hands on the Japanese variant or if you ever see one for sale I would say try to pick it up if it's not too pricey because those are damn those are definitely worth it one of my favorite um in my opinion the Japanese Desert Camel Zaku just so much detail in the one figure and they look extremely good um, but yeah guys that's about it um, I'm just waiting for that second loose one to come in which should be hopefully by Saturday I'm, I'm doubting it probably come by next week like Monday Tuesday but it'll be nice if it comes in this week by Saturday as you know I'll be like the earliest because see so yeah, they haven't shipped it yet today's Tuesday they ship it Wednesday it's going to take them Thursday Friday Saturday so probably it's going to be next week I'll be getting it but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed that video I know it's been quite a while since I posted one um hopefully you'll be seeing one soon for me just been posting whenever I get something cool I like you know haven't really been <clears throat> I really haven't been collecting so much just I think I'm gonna start selling a couple of figures that I'm not needing. I still try to sell that camp for brand new box Japanese release. You can see my little desert camel Zaku army slowly building still. Very awesome. But yeah, guys, uh, that's about it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please come back. Check out my other videos too. I have a couple of them up there. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. Until next time. Peace.